This video is going to save you hundreds of dollars from fixing your deduplication error and even your external ID error. Check it out. Hey guys, this is Julian right here. And yes, I've noticed that on Fiverr, people are actually charging hundreds of dollars just to get a developer to fix this for you. So this is going to save you a lot of headaches. And if it really did help you, consider subscribing and so smashing the like button because it will really help out with the YouTube algorithm. Now, I've actually recorded a previous video on how to set up conversion API and you actually need that before you actually do this. So if you have not uh, watched that video, I'll put a link in the description and also somewhere around here for you to watch it as well. So in the latest iOS 14 and also 14.5 update, Apple has given the opportunities for users to opt out of being tracked for privacy reasons. And this really caused a lot of headaches to marketers like you and I out there because there are a lot of inaccurate data that's happening. So because of that, Facebook actually came out with the conversion API. And how the tracking works now is it works on server side instead of through the browser. So enough of all this jargon, let's head over to my computer and I'll show you how to fix the issue. So we're on my computer right now and what you want to do is you want to actually click on this all tools, go to events manager and you can actually see this thing called um, your data source. So what you want to do is you want to actually just click on overview, okay, and then go to settings. Now, when you go to settings, I want you to scroll down all the way until you see this thing called advanced matching. And you will also see this thing called automatic advanced matching. All you need to do, simply just turn it on. Okay, next, go to show options, click on this small arrow right here, this link, and you want to make sure that you make sure all these are turned on. What this does, especially for this external ID, is that every time that Facebook tracks an event, for example, a purchase, okay, what's going to happen is that if you don't turn this on, there will not be any matching that happens. So what this means is that Facebook will actually track it on the conversions API and also the browser, and this will give you duplicate data, all right? So you will see two purchases instead of only one because Facebook doesn't know that it's actually the same one. So you want to make sure that you turn on external ID. So Facebook will just do this matching between this purchase and this purchase, identifying that it's the same. They're just going to remove one and therefore making your tracking accurate. So this is how this works. Second thing you want to do is that you scroll down a little bit and you will see track events automatically without code. You also want to make sure that you turn this on. The next thing you want to do is that if you still do encounter errors like this, you actually just go to diagnostics and you will see, uh, you know, the error that, that is displayed. If there is still error, you can just ignore it. Just click on this three dots right here and just click on ignore. And there you go. Your problem will be solved. Hey guys, this is Future Julian here and as I'm editing this video, I actually noticed that I didn't actually share one trick that I've been using in order to get more visibility, in order to uh, have more accurate data tracking. As I hop onto my computer, you can see this is under the ad set. So this is uh, one little trick that you can actually do to make sure that the, the, the details get tracked, right? So under optimization and delivery, you want to just scroll down all the way uh, and it will be this thing called show more options. You just want to click on show more options and you will see this thing called attribution settings. Now this one seven day click or one day view works the best for a lot of people right now. 99% um, of the people say that, you know, is, is profitable. So you can actually try using this one or all right. One more thing that I've, I've been testing recently is this one right here, one day click. Now the one day click will actually be able to allow you to track uh, purchases even if they have opted out of the iOS tracking. So this is something you can actually test it, test it yourself, right? See which one works better for you. So there you go, guys. Very simple. I hope that this video has helped you. If it did help you, consider subscribing, liking it, and also commenting down below. Uh, I want to actually be doing a giveaway as well. So once this video actually reaches 500 likes, I want to actually give away a free highly converting Shopify store, right? So I will just pick a random comment as the winner once this reaches 500 likes. So please help me out. You know, just comment down below Shopify Ecom Champs and I will actually do that for you, all right? So with that said, guys, thank you and I'll see you in the next video.
If you've been frustrated because of the latest iOS 14 changes where Facebook introduces new updates to their system and causes errors such as this and this, right? I'm gonna show you how you can actually resolve all these